So let's summarize what we've covered. Start with a specification and set up a base system that encodes the first order and constructional data for the system. We set up the lens so that all the first order properties of the lens were set up in the system aperture, field of view and wavelength tabs of the system explorer and in the lens data editor by setting the size of the aperture stop and the F number of the lens directly. This gives us an easily scalable template for any design involving a landscape lens. We optimized it for RMS spot size averaged over the specified fields and wavelengths. using a Gaussian quadrature method that is exact to R to the ninth in wavefront aberration, given the setup that we did in the optimization wizard. The lens produced was far from diffraction limited, but could be easily scaled to scope out the regions over which it was capable of diffraction limited performance. Think about what each variable in the system is doing. We need to scale by a factor of 10, which is a good indication that this basic shape is not adequate for our specification. So one, set up a base system that encodes your specification in the System Explorer and Lens Data Editor. Two, build a merit function that optimizes the desired image quality as well as providing boundary and other constraints that the design must work within. Three, hit the big green optimize button. Four, analyze the results you get. Think about what each variable in the system is doing. Use the make focal tool to see how far from specification you are. Thanks for watching.